checking out the Fivefine USB microphone in this video. It's plug and play ready for Mac and PCs, has adjustable gain, and monitoring with zero latency. Perfect for content creation, podcasting, live streaming, and ASMR. You can hear my fingers on the Hi everyone, Digital David here today. In this video, I'm gonna be unboxing and reviewing the Fifine USB microphone for podcasting, streaming, and recording. I did receive this product to review, but any opinion expressed in this video is strictly my own. That being said, if you're interested in this product, the link to it will be in my video description below. You can also see how the product comes packaged in a very nice and simple retail box. Walk me through some of its key features. You can see it from the backside and from the other side. Now let's go ahead, let's open it up and look at the package contents. Here are all the package contents. First up, we have your social media and contact information. Then we have your user guide and manual right here, complete in color, walking you through all the setup instructions and troubleshooting that you would need to connect everything and get it working properly. Then we have our six and a half foot USB cable. So we have a USB type A in that will plug into your computer. Then we have a mini USB in that will plug into the bottom of the microphone. They also include a 3 8 inch to 5 8 inch threaded adapter for mounting this microphone on a microphone stand. Then we have the mic itself. Look at its size, guys. It looks fantastic. Very small and compact. Also very heavy, so it has a durable vibe and feel to it. You can see on this side, we got their logo and branding. We have your mute button right there. Then on the other side, you can see we have our gain knob to control the gain, and we have our headphone monitoring volume as well. Then flipping it over to the bottom side, you can see we have our headphone port, we have our mini USB plug right there, and we have our threaded adapter that we can use if we want to attach the included adapter as well, depending on if you want to mount the microphone or keep it on the nice desktop, tabletop stand that they have. Really like the color of it looks great, black on black on black, very heavy, seems to have a nice build design and feel to it. So the construction seems on point. Now let's go ahead, let's try it out. So you're listening to the raw mic audio right now, guys. We didn't edit it in any way. So you can hear how this microphone sounds straight out of the box without any adjustments besides the gain knob on the back. It really is a plug and play microphone. Plug it in your computer and you're all set and ready to go to start recording your podcast, your streams, your videos, whatever you want. I really like the small form factor. I like that we have zero latency monitoring as well. It's great to have that headphone jack on there so I can hear in real time what everything sounds like so I can make on the go adjustments when necessary. When you're using the microphone, this is the backside with the knobs on it to adjust the volume and the gain where the front side has the mute button with a green or a red LED light. So when you push the mute button, a red light. So I went ahead, I pushed it again, and now we have the green light, and you can hear me talking, but it's very quick and to unmute when you want on the go, and you get that instant feedback with the light. Just make sure you keep the microphone around five to eight inches from your mouth, pointing it a little bit towards your mouth and your nose right there. It does have that cardioid pattern on the front side. You don't want to be talking into it on the rear side. So just make sure you're using the microphone correctly. If you want to get a little bit closer, just make sure you have adjusted for the sensitivity of this microphone. But there's not much you can do if you're this close and you already have the gain set to zero, unless you want to change some of those settings on your computer. But here we are. We're about six inches or so, eight inches away from the microphone so you can hear how it's capturing my sound. We have the gain currently set to zero in case you're wondering, but we can tweak that right here. So we can start adjusting the gain, twisting the knob to increase it and its sensitivity, but we're gonna have to step back a little bit too because I can already tell it's very, very sensitive. So we can keep turning the gain up, but we're gonna have to talk really quiet so we don't clip and peak. So we have the gain up more. It's picking up a lot of extra details on touching stuff. The creaking of my chair right there. You can hear that. We got a mouse, we're clicking. So you can hear that too. So it's picking up a lot of extra noise in the background. 
We can grab it again. We can turn it all the way up. So now we have the gain all the way up, guys, and I'm barely talking, so you guys can hear me right now. We're getting to that ASMR range, I guess, if we want to have a really sensitive microphone with that gain. We can do that if we wanted. We can just touch the microphone like that. So there we go. We got the gain all the way up, and we can adjust it back down, too. So we can adjust it back down. And there we go, we can start talking normally again, and then we can keep tweaking that depending on how we're gonna be using this, where we're gonna position it on our desk, if we're gonna get a stand or anything else additionally to this, a shock mount, something like that. If you wanna mount it differently with a boom arm or anything along those lines, you can adjust the gain on the go without having to make any of those changes from your computer. So that's really nice, guys. I do wanna point out though, with that design, I really wish that the front side could actually have the gain knob on it so I could see it right here without having to guess behind the microphone which way is which in case you have to make a very crucial adjustment during like a live stream or maybe a podcast and you're fielding a phone call and you want to get the gain just right really quickly and you don't end up accidentally moving it one way or the other on accident when you know you wanted to make the change correctly the first time but since you can't see it you might forget which directions which but the mute button on the front with that light is really cool love that they got the green light and the red light for you versus like the blue Yeti where it has the blinking light. It gets a little bit confusing. I mean, I can't remember which light means what until I look at like OBS or whatever software I'm using to record the audio to see what's coming through. But red and green is very easy. Red is muted. Green means you're good to go. So I really like that. It's small form factor is great too. It's really a cool microphone. I think it's neat. It fills a great void in the microphone space out there to be an affordable alternative to some of the name brands at you know a great competitive price still giving you good enough features for your streams your podcasts or your content creation just for fun i went ahead i grabbed my blue yeti microphone as well i got the blackout edition right here they're actually very similar in color but i wanted to show you guys the size differences it's drastic this is about half as wide and half as tall really like the small form factor for this versus the blue microphone Everything else is very similar in regards to their layout. Even the stands are similar too. They're both heavy duty microphones. They both have a similar stand, but what's cool about this stand, look, it can go all the way around where this one, you know, gets stuck right there at the base. But the layout, very similar guys. We have the mute button on the front for both of them. The blue also gives us our audio monitoring adjustment volume right there too with that knob. I really wish this microphone did that too, like I pointed out earlier. Then we can look at the back side, slightly different controls. So you can see right here, we have our gain. Then we have our pickup pattern adjustment too with the blue. For this mic, you can see we have our gain and then we have our audio monitoring volume level right there. Personally for myself, I'd love to see on both these mics, having those knobs move to the front as well. So you can see everything very easily, but that just seems normal that they put those on the back. So I must just be in you know an outlier of wanting that on the front but i just think it makes more sense especially having the volume adjustment knob when you're doing some sampling and listening in with that zero latency on the microphone it'd be nice to have it on the front the gain maybe you're going to adjust that before you start talking but if you're doing something live and you need to make those quick adjustments like i said it's hard to know which directions which so you don't make the wrong adjustment in real time i also want to point out again I really like the red versus green light on this microphone for the mute versus the solid red versus the flashing red. I, for some reason, have a brain fart every time when I see that to know am I picking up the audio or not and then I have to go check OBS or whatever audio software I'm using to make sure you know it's not muted by accident. And I can tell you a lot of times I have had that muted on accident and wasn't even aware, so it's very frustrating for me. Where the green light, I'm always gonna know when it's picking up audio. Well, that concludes our video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget the product link will be in our video description below. Please go ahead, check it out and do your shopping from there. Any purchase made through that link helps support our channel at no additional cost to you. So we're really grateful and thankful for all of your support. While you're at it, can you go ahead and hit that like button for us? and subscribe to our channel. We have new content coming out daily and we don't want you to miss anything. Please go ahead and give us a follow online and make it a clean sweep. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, Discord. You can message us on WeChat, check out our website and join our free 
newsletter. Thank you guys so much for being here. Don't forget new content daily, and we can't wait to see you in our next video.